Hey, welcome back to my channel for another review. This time I got here Zenkaiser, Zenkaio. And this is the first mecha of the new Super Sentai series. This is the 45th anniversary of Super Sentai. So, yeah, um, something different. It's a fresh start. And this is what we got. So, taking a quick look at the box here, getting these guys out the way. See, the box has. Uh, the new main mech, which is kind of different for this season because it's two main mechs, I guess, um, with the main core um, rangers. Um, but as you see, we got the red and yellow here. <clears throat> and here's this side of the box, as you can see. Red, yellow, the mecha here. Other side of the box, you have yellow and red and their animal forms. And on top, of course, you have the whole um, Zenkaiser team which the leader this time is a white ranger, which is interesting. Um, and bottom of the box, and here's the back of the box. And as you see the mecha here, and then their animal forms, um, how they kind of combine together, and some other forms that they make. So that's pretty much it for the box. And then when you get this figure, it is in the two halves that it splits into. So you got one half here, one half here, and then you just got to connect the arms and the accessories. So there's that for you. All right, and here we have our first two, um, well, Rangers and Mecha for the uh, season so far. And as you can see, you got the red um, Ranger here, which is also a Mecha. Uh, his name is Juan, and we got the yellow here which is a mecha and a ranger also, and he is Gaon. And we're take a look at one, so we take out the yellow one first, because the red one's the first one who makes an appearance in the show. And as you can see, he is based off of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, or um, Zoo Ranger, there we go. He's based off of Zoo Ranger. And he looks pretty cool. As you see the head is very reminiscent of the original and as you see they have numbers on their head here Let's see bring that closer he has the number 16 on his head because he's the 16th uh, season of Super Sentai so here's a little 360 look of him a nice little chrome on the side here and here's the shield it does come off clips on right here And his sword also comes off. And yeah, nice looking figure. Uh, he actually has legs that are split apart, which are really cool. And feet kind of move back and forth. The arms are through a 360, but that's pretty much about it. But one thing that is cool about this figure is that his head actually does have articulation as do more to transformation. So he does have a rotating head and yeah um, and if for storage for his weapon if you do want to store it you can just clip it onto the back here um, like that and you can put the sword away there or the shield away and you can't really store the sword but yeah put that back right here and for my Super Sentai fans, I know you guys are going to get excited about this, but just a quick comparison. Here he is with the original Nick that he's based off of. I'm going to raise the camera for you guys. And as you can see, you know, his head is very similar to how his head looks. So there's that. I know you guys will want to see that. So there's that comparison for you. All right, so the last thing to talk about with this guy is his transformation to his dinosaur mode. So... First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take his visor here and rotate it forward. You're gonna turn his head around 360 to his facing completely back. Go ahead and remove his accessories here, sword and shield. Take his arms, rotate them completely back. Alright, you're gonna take his waist, you're gonna bring it back here. Got something like this. You're gonna take his feet, rotate them back one click. You're gonna take the whole waist here, bring it forward. You're gonna take his shield, you're gonna split it in half. 
and you see it's a little slides right here that goes and slides right underneath in here. That's how you store that. I take a sword here, it has two little pegs here, two little ports here. I'll peg that into there. And here we have him in his T Rex form. And you know what? It might look a little goofy and everything, but it works for what we have. It actually works really well. You just see, he has a little T Rex arms here. He has really good balance, even though he has an awkward stance. It has really good balance. Um, his mouth does open here. Okay, now it's making me look silly. <laughs> Normally, this doesn't fall out like that. Um, but um, his mouth does open here. And then it does open at the bottom, but then to activate the, the sounds and stuff, which you're going to see a little bit later. So, But can't open it there. And yeah, and as you can see, he is based off of the original Mighty Morphin T-Rex because it's based off of Mighty Morphin. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for him. And now let's bring in Gaon. All right, and here we have Gaon, which is our second ranger. He is our yellow ranger. And he is based off of um, the Super Sentai Gaon Ranger and the American Power Rangers Wild Force. So, as you see here, he has a number uh, 30, 25 on his head, which he is based off, or that's the 25th season of Super Sentai. And yeah, looks really cool. He has the lion head, because what I noticed is that most of the mecha from this season, or what they're based off of, is the Red Ranger mecha, which is here's the lion. Um, Juran was the T Rex. And then the blue one is based off, uh, well, I guess I go back into that once I do that review. But you're gonna notice that he's based off of um, Daibokan, which is the red dump truck. And then the pink one, she's based off of Ranger, but they based her off the dragon. So, because there's no point in basing a humanoid figure off of another humanoid season. So, when it comes to the mecha. But anyway, uh, here he is. And he looks really cool, really nice. He has this big claw weapon, which does come off. And that looks really cool. Has a bunch of different clips and options. And then to store this, you want to start it. You also can store it on the back here. Just like that. And yeah, his articulation. Got 360 spinning arms. Got the little movement here, but they don't really lock this besides right there. And he does have the split apart legs, which is cool. Um, and his head does not spin like Alan. And if you're gonna notice, they do have all of this little V symbol on their um, like belt buckles too, which you kind of gotta notice off the different mecha. Then here's his little chrome symbol on this side. And yeah, he looks really cool. All right, and then for his comparison, here he is with Gal King or the Wild Force Megazord. And as you see, he has a very similar head to how his head is. And that's what he's based off. And he also has the lion right in the center. So that's kind of where he is based off of. So there's that comparison for you. So now I'll talk about his transformation. For him, I'm going to take this little crest piece here. I'm going to flip it back. And just push his head into the body. The little claw piece here. So he has two clips here. It has two ports, or two clips and two ports here. Or they go together. <laughs> you're gonna clip that there, just like that. Then you're gonna do the same thing with his body. You're gonna take him at the waist. Instead of putting him in here, he goes back out one extra clip like that. Then you're gonna take the same thing, pull his waist down until it stops right there. Then come to the arms, flip down in this section, revealing the legs. And there he has his lion mode. And same thing, he does look a little weird in certain sections, but it works. It works for me, and I think it really works for the figure for what we have. Uh, one thing I do notice with this figure is there's a lot of discoloration with the plastics, but you know, it works. It's, it's fine for me. Then, for his articulation, you can move here, same as the arms. He did have this bend here now. 
um, but I can't really stand without it. So um, this mouth also opens up here, and you can't open the bottom jaw, kind of, but kind of just separate the whole entire body. So, but yeah, and he's based off of the Gaia Lion from Gaia Ranger. And one thing that is missing pretty much is a tail, but I mean, unless they gave him a tail whip weapon or something, that's not really necessary. And bring it in Juron for their comparison together. And that's how they look. So now for the main event. The last thing I talk about is the combination into Zenkayo. So what you want to do is <laughs> in the show, the first episode, they kind of kiss and blah, blah, blah. It was kind of weird, but it was funny. But what you're going to do is you're going to start with the yellow first. You're going to flip in the arms. Just like that. We're going to take out this claw here. Put that out to the side for right now. You're going to take this arm, rotate straight up. Take this arm, rotate straight back. Then you're going to take the legs here. You know, push them together. And then you're going to take this piece and bring it all the way up. Just like that. And you see a little cut off section here to compensate for the space of the head here. And then bring this all the way down. And then you're going to take the bottom jaw here, you're going to split it and rotate it all the way down, just like that. And then you're going to do the same thing for Juron, but a little bit minor differences. So you're going to take the arm here, rotate it all the way forward. This one stays back. You're going to move the shield, you're going to move the sword. And then now, we're going to actually collapse the legs the same way we did the other one. But now we're going to take the head here and it rotates back just like this out the way. You're going to bring this up the same exact way. And then this one does have two little tabs here that go in the two little slots right here. But that's just to make sure that it doesn't just like push all the way so it won't block the speaker here. So that goes up just like that. This comes down. And then you're gonna take the bottom and draw again, and it's gonna activate the combination noise. Alright. Gonna take the two halves, bring them together. And it is a series of clips in here. Clip them together. Gaon. Gaon. Now I finish up and flip out the feet. Bring up the legs here. Alright. Bring the camera up. Put these two halves on the part like that. We're going to split the mouse. And here we have it Zenkayo Juran Gaon. And as you can see, there he is. Uh, definitely different from previous and past uh, Sentai mech and at first I didn't know how I felt about it but having it in hand I actually kind of do like it. it's really cool and just to finish it off you have the claw here multiple places you can store it there's a clip right here you can use this clip to make it in the center store it there take the shield here it's a clip right here and as you see there is clips and ports all over this thing Put this one here and take the sword and then you're going to use the bigger port here for the bigger hand this one was for uh juron put that in the hand 
And then you have the completed Zenkayo. So we finally got a new mech and it is a little bigger than last year's mech which is cool. Um, and yeah, I'm bringing him in for a closer detailed look. You see he has a nice shiny chrome uh, Sydney is here. You see the dinosaur and then the lion. Some nice paint detail here. Here's the legs. You do kind of have different colors on the legs, but you know, it is what it is. There's the back there. And then checking out the head here. As you see, really nice paint. It has the dinosaur and the lion. And yeah. Really cool looking mecha. And kind of got like the little teeth going down the middle there, which is really nice. Um, articulation. Arm can kind of you know, move the shield. Can go up. They can do 360s, but stuff is going to get in the way. Same thing with this arm. Now, the sword, honestly, I don't, he holds it, but I don't think he holds it very well because the peg doesn't go completely in because this peg here stops it from sinking all the way in get hits against this part so um but it doesn't fall out really that often to be honest um and yeah and you can take the claw here you can put it on either arm clip it here and clip it here also clip the shield on the side if you want to do something along those lines like that but what i personally like to do is if you see through here, you can see straight through it. It's literally just like a hollow hole. So the same clips you use for um, to store these on the robots or the ranger modes, you use those to store these. So put the shield here on this side, which I think is the best storage when you're not using it anyway. And the uh, claw on this side. I'm gonna rotate the arms down and they do not get in the way at all. It is a little cutout as you see here and does compensate for the space of the arms. So you can store those on the side if you want. And the sword, <laughs> the only reason I know about this because I've seen it or another reviewer do it, but there are some little clips in here, like very little clips. And it's a little sliding thing here before a future combination, of course, but you can kind of slide that on there and it kind of does sit and there's storage if you want to store anything so there's that for you okay for comparison here he is with last year mech which is Karamazin and as you can see a lot bigger than what we got last year which is I'm happy about that they're going upscaling again and not you know, sticking with this size. So nothing against Karen Major. I like him, but I still wish he was around this size. So there's that for you. All right. And then we do this. It says Juran. And it says Go. And I just keep saying that over and over again for the different uh, mecha vests and part of the combination. And it is just the uh, T-Rex head that does the sound. So you open this one up, it's not going to say anything. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, pretty cool mecha, pretty cool figure. I really do like it. I can't wait to see what else happens in the future with this set. And I can't wait to get the next set. So if you like this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And as always, feel free to comment. Also, check out some of my other videos. Stay tuned for future videos. And I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thank you.